In this problem, we have to find the sum of this infinite geometric series. It's worth noting that this is something uh, quite special. This is actually the same thing as 9.9 .9 bar, right? Which is the same thing as 9. Point, I mean, if you remember, uh, at some point in our lives, we learn that the bar means that the nines go on forever. So it's really this, right? There's just infinitely many nines. And then what you can do is you can break this up as 9 plus 0.9 plus 0.09 plus 0.009, et cetera, right? And then you're just adding on, um, you know, the decimals. That's what we have here. So we have to find out what this is actually equal to, okay? So it should be equal to 10 because we know that 0.9, we're taught that that's equal to 1. So let's see if this works. So this is geometric. And so whenever you have uh, an infinite geometric series written in this way, in order to get the answer, it's always going to be whatever is here. Okay, and that's going to go up top. And then on the bottom, you're going to divide by 1 minus r. Okay, always. It's just whatever is here, and it's divided by 1 minus r. Assuming uh, that it converges. So to find r, what you do is you take any of these numbers, and then you divide by the one before it. So let's take this one, and then just divide by 9. So we have 0.9 divided by 9. Now, if you're uncomfortable with the division of decimals, what you can do is you can think of it as a fraction. So 0 0.9 is really 9 tenths. Remember, that's the tenths place. And we're dividing by 9. So this is 9 tenths. Dividing by 9 is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of 9. If you think of 9 as 9 over 1, its reciprocal is 1 over 9. These cancel, so we get 1 tenth. So our r is equal to 1 tenth, and that's less than 1, so the series does converge. However, in the original question, which I didn't write down, uh, we were told it was convergent. But if you didn't know, you would have to look at this. So because r is less than 1, you know, this, is, well, this will converge by the you know, geometric series test. Okay, so this is equal to 9 over 1 minus, and then r was 1 tenth. This is equal to 9 over, so we can think of 1 as 10 tenths, so 10 tenths minus 1 tenth. And we do that so we can actually perform the subtraction. So this is 9 over 10 tenths minus 1 tenth is 9 tenths. So this is 9, and then division by 9 tenths is multiplication by 10 ninths. Ah, there it is. Sure enough. We get 10, which is what we thought uh, we were going to get at the beginning of the question. So kind of a cool way. You can, you can figure out any repeating decimal now using this method. For example, if you had 0.3 bar, you could do 0 0.3, 3, 3, dot, dot, dot. And that's the same thing as 0.3 plus 0.03 plus 0.003 plus dot, dot, dot. And then you can use this formula as just this one divided by 1 minus r. I hope this video has been helpful.